Hey, what's up guys, it's Abstract. I make videos on sample-based hip-hop. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can put together a drum program with your own custom sounds and then save it to then load it up in another project. I also want to show you how you can make a preview for the drum program. That way, when you're scrolling through all of your kits, you can get a preview of what it sounds like. Step one, what you want to do is you want to go to your browser and you want to find the folder that contains all the samples that you want to load up on your pads. So I've got a folder here. And now when you know when you are assigning uh, samples to pads, what you want to do is you want to hit a pad and when it lights up green, that means it's ready to have a sample loaded to that pad. So you can scroll on your list, find a kick that you like. I like that one. So I'm going to hit the load button and now it's on that pad. Also, when you're scrolling through, instead of hitting the load button, you can just hit your main encoder and that'll load it, right? So then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and arrange the samples the way that you want. So I'm just going to load a bunch here. Let me get some kicks. All right, and then let me get some hats. All right, it's a lot of good sounds in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to another folder. Let's see. And I'm gonna get some open hats. All right. And there we go. So all of these pads are full. I've got 16 samples loaded up. And uh, here's another quick tip. If you want to change the colors of your pads, right now it's kind of hard to see, but these are lighting up blue. If you want to change the color of each pad, what you want to do is you want to hit that little pencil icon. And then you want to hit the part that says pad color. And for example, I know that this first row here, these are all my kicks. I'm going to color those uh, red. Hold on. So there's, there's two buttons here. Single pad will color the pads that you select. So those four are red. Or if you do all pads, it'll color all of them, uh, that one color. So for now, I'm going to do single pad. I'm going to keep the kicks red. And then I'm going to do the snares blue. And I'm going to keep the hi-hats yellow and uh, open hi-hats orange, right? So I have red, blue, yellow, orange. So now that's going to stay like that. And, you know, the colors help you remember what is what. And next thing you might want to do is you might want to name this program as well. So again, hit that pencil icon. And at the top here where it says program, I'm going to go ahead and rename that. So I'm going to name this one just for the video. I'm going to name it example one, All right? Hit do it. And now when I go to my main screen, it tells me what's there. Example one. Now guys, it's really important for you to name stuff as you go along making your beats. Otherwise, when you start to get a lot of elements, it can get really confusing and then you forget what's what. All right, so the next thing we want to do is you want to go to menu and then save. Now this menu is going to pop up and it's going to say project, project as, and then the next one says drum program. So you want to save that drum program. And if I were you, I'd go ahead and I'd make a new folder on your hard drive or your SD card, make a new folder and name it. Uh, custom drum kits or my drum kits or something like that. I already have a folder here and it's called abstract custom kits. So I'm going to double tap that folder, open it up, and then I'm going to save it. So now that I've got a blank project, an empty project, I'm going to show you that I can load up that uh, drum program that I made. So I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to look for the folder where I saved that drum program. 
which I know is in abstracts custom drum kits. I'm gonna open that folder. I'm gonna sort by programs, and there it is, example one. I'm gonna load it up. There's the kit that I made earlier. With the colors and everything, and the name. So the next thing that, that I wanna show you guys how to do is how to create a preview so that when you're scrolling through all of your custom drum kits, you can get a, you can hear a little clip of what it sounds like. Just in case you forgot what kind of samples are in there, uh, this can help you remember. And so what we need to do is we need to just record a little, uh, a, a little, a little sequence of the samples. So let's see, I got my BPM at 90. So you're going to go ahead and record a pattern. Right, so I've got my little example there. And that's a nice little overview of every sample that's in this drum program. So then what I want to do is I want to hit the little pencil icon. And I want to do bounce the sample. And then what I want to do is I want to go to sample edit. And I want to find that bounce example one. Now, when I play this, that's the little loop that I came up with. So now what I'm going to do is that I have this sample bounce dash example one. So that is the drum loop that I recorded. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find the folder where I saved all my custom drum kits. I'm going to save that there. And now the next part of what you need to do, you're going to have to hook up your MPC to your computer. And I'm going to show you what to do on that next step here. All right, guys. So the next step, what you need to do is you need to hook up your MPC to your computer and put it into controller mode. When you do that, the drive for your MPC, which for my MPC, it's this one right here, MPC Live 2. What you're going to do is you're going to open that and you're going to find the folder that where you saved all of your uh, custom kits. So that folder is this one, Abstracts Custom Drum Kits. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a new folder and you, re you need to rename this folder. previews with the brackets exactly like this right when you make that folder you're going to click it and you're going to drag it into the folder where you have all of your custom kits so i've actually done that already and as you can see when i open this up there's the folder right there previews now i want to scroll down remember when i saved that loop i want to find that loop that i saved which is right here Bounce, example one, copy that, and paste it into that previous folder. And then I want to rename it. So I want to rename it, whatever I named the kit, example one, and then dot x p m dot wave just like that and that is how the file needs to be formatted in order for the mpc to realize that it's a preview and assign it to that custom drum kit now i'm going to take you back to the mpc and i'm going to show you that this is working all right guys so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to try and find that same folder where I saved all my custom drum kits, which is abstracts custom drum kits. I'm gonna filter by drum programs. And there we have example one. And there's the audition. Right? 
and you see it plays automatically. Right? So that is great. So if you want to go ahead and do that for each custom drum kit, it doesn't just have to be drum kits. It can be um it can be key groups, it can be songs that you've chopped up already that you've you know sliced up on the pads and you want to save that for another day. Uh, you can make previews for all of your custom um, programs. So that is how you make previews for your drum programs. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Uh, I appreciate it. And comment if you have any questions or if you have any tips um, or if there's a video that you want to see, you know, please leave a comment. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.